Hey Kaijus, welcome back to my channel. This is Anna and I am going to do an unboxing today. Today we have the Akio box. Um, usually you, they have, you know, you can see their logo. Oh, here we go. Get that off. I have a UPS box, so they put that up. So it says Akio box, fragile, fragile, however you want to say it. Um, so I've never done an unbox, an Akio boxing on this channel, but on my, my other channel, Anna Travels, I've done it. Um, but I'm probably moving a lot more unboxings onto this channel um, and then keep my other channel travel focused. But with that being said, let's get this open. I am excited. I forgot why I really was like, I needed this box. I don't remember what's in this box. Um, this box is supposed to be kind of like, um, like there was polls uh, of like people, like basically what, like old favorites. So previous boxes, I'm pretty sure that I think there's most of what's in this box I have not gotten except for I think there might be one item that I've already gotten in a previous box but I can't remember because this, these past couple months have been a blur so it's going to be a surprise for me and you all right so black box I mean black tissue paper oh yeah I remember this this is I think this is one of the reasons because you know a girl can never have too many bags of every sorts of sizes so I'll put this down so got the little bag of the Marauders Mooney Mrs. Misters I'm sorry Mooney Wormtail Padfoot and Prongs purveyors of aids to magical mischief mischief makers so pretty nice bag because you know sometimes I feel like some of the makeup bags um, they're not long enough and so um, like for the tooth like for full-size toothbrush um, and some other things so this is like a good good size a little bit bigger uh, next up we have this little box Got to keep those little frizzles contained I forgot what they call foozles I call foozles Oh, the Death Eater cup. I'm not sure if you can see that. The closest tissue paper I had was pink, so, you know, very pink death mark. <laughs> but yeah, that, which you can definitely see a lot better than my face. So really cool. Um, you know, it's funny, I've actually, sometimes, you know, when I'm making drinks, I don't want like a huge glass. And then like, so that's actually like a perfect size for just like a little nightcap. Oh yeah, so this is the item that a lot of people really wanted them to redo. It's the Potter Stink Badge. I actually already have this. This was in the, one of the boxes I did have. Um, so, but I don't know where it went to, so. It's brand new to me again. So next up, oh yeah, the Constant I Vigilance flask. I think this is like one of the reasons why I kind of wanted it, even though I really don't use flask that much. But, I just, you know, like, you know, in the story, um, Bowdy, Brown, Brody. Barty Crouch Jr. was, you know, drinking Polyjuice Potion out of a flask, and so, and it's always, it's always handy to have a flask. You never know when you need to sneak in some adult drinks. Next up, Luna's Room. Oh, it's a soy candle. You know, it was funny. I was just thinking. I was like, oh, I should get another candle, you know. Um, I'm out of candle. Well, not out of candles, but I am burning the last few of my candles. So, Luna's room. Cotton candy and watermelon. I'm not sure if, if I had to pick a sense for Luna. If I had to pick scents for Luna, I'm not sure if I pick cotton candy and watermelon. It smells more watermelon. 
But I mean, I'm not, I don't like eating watermelon, but I don't mind the smell of like watermelon because you know, watermelon scented items. Um, so yeah, so yay, another candle. And I think there's like one more item. So it looks like it's really dusty with all the foozles, but it's a very purple shirt. Um, what is what is the Weasley store called? I forgot, um, but I'm pretty sure it's like a staff shirt. Um, and then on the back, what does it say? Ask me about our wildfire whiz bang, virtually unstoppable. So it's a pretty cool shirt. I like, I mean, I'm not huge with the color purple, but it kind of gives you, gives me a break from black shirts. I pretty much have like black shirts, black and navy, and pretty much those are my colors in my, in my closet. So it would be nice to have like a break from a black shirt. All right. Okay. So we are going to look at the spoiler card. Um, so we're turning back time. Three years should do it. This month's box is a special throwback theme featuring six past favors that you voted on. I actually didn't vote because I just, I wasn't, I didn't really care to vote, but it was, it was kind of cool. Kind of, I kind of half followed it. Um, these are some of the more popular items going all the way back to 2017. We opened up the votes on our social media platforms to allow our subscribers to choose what we'd bring back. And we're excited to see some awesome items returning this month. We hope you love this box, uh, love this, uh, love this box of classic Accio magic. So <laughs> the joke shop staff tea was $25 in value and the Marauders canvas pencil pouch, it's a pencil pouch, but I probably won't use it for pencils, was a $6 value. The Dark Magic Stemless Wine Glass. Unwind with a little wine or just make your morning OJ feel extra fancy. And that was a $10 value. The Potter Stinks Lenticular Button. Support Cedric Diggory, the real champion, with this clever badge that really changes from one phrase to the next. So that was $5. And then Luna's Room scented candle uh, was an $8 value and then constant vigilance the stainless steel hip flask was a $10 value so I mean I I like Akio um, I I think I think did I accidentally get charged for one more box I was gonna put a stop to all my boxes um, just because like we were prepping to buy a house next year and so I'm trying to like rein back a lot of the extra spending and so, but I think, I'm not sure if it was Akio Box or if it was, uh, oh, it wasn't Akio Box. It was uh, Wizard's Vault that accident that, that I forgot to cancel. Um, and it's like so hard because I really wanted like the Halloween or not Halloween, the October Akio Box, but I'm just like, ugh, I just can't, I have to save it. I have to save money. So, but I feel like Akio generally you get really, really good value some fun unique harry potter items and i mean i like their box um maybe after you know we we can after we buy a house i'll probably resume some of these subscription box services especially akio especially because you know we'll have a house and have to you know and a lot of these items are really cool like decoration items some of them not all of them um so yeah so anyways i hope you guys like and subscribe and join me for future videos and i hope you guys have a wonderful week